ones, guess what? Today we're going to draw a barn. So first you're going to draw a big line. And then you're going to draw a long line right at the bottom between where our house is going to be. Then you're going to draw a line squatting up. Not all the way to that one. But then it's up to that one. That one's up to that one. And there you go. Next you're going to start a line that connects from both. Same size as this one. Because they're the same size, they're the same size. Because it is in the same place. Okay. Next, you are going to draw a big line going up like that. Then another big line going down. That zigzags and towards the line. There's a bigger line that goes up and squiggles. That's the color in the walls. Because they have different highlighter walls. That we do. And here we go. Okay. I'm still going to draw some more. And then, after you're done with the outlines, you are going to draw a, a big door. Which has that like that, and then a dot inside. Everything in, except for the dot, so like an eye. But it's not an eye, because soon, you see it's a cube. Next, you are going to draw a door. Next, you are going to draw my favorite part, the rooster. So how to draw a rooster is a carving line touching on top of your piece of paper. But it's actually on top of, you know, the, the top of the house. And you're going to draw a straight line on top. Comes a little bit there. And then you're going to draw a big bumper roll. And then you're going to curve it up. Kind of a mouth there, huh? And then you're going to draw a smile and a nose and some eyes. And you're going to draw a curve. Then you're going to draw one curve and one curve and one connective curve to that one and the same thing over there. Then another one connecting that one and connecting to that one. Color that dot in. And then you're going to give it some way. So you're going to do one right and one right. And that right there, then one, two, three, four, five legs, then one more, one, two, three, four, five legs, and then some more back. There we go. And then you are going to draw the big red ones. Circle and circle and then curving in except for that circle that I left behind. Don't turn to a square. There. I still going to do a big circle line up around it for the outer lines. And then you're going to draw some windows. So you're going to draw 
one big black thing over the top. Then one, two lines. Then the same thing here. One, two, rectangle, two lines. Then one more here, which is actually a rectangle like that. Then another one. There we go. And you are done. This got a color. Okay, time to color. <laughs> so let's get coloring. Okay. Let's get coloring. Okay, this is going to be the best drawing ever. Okay, these are such so well swell drawings. That's because these are to outline your spaces. And now look at that here. Doesn't that look good? Like over here, you see the lines? They look good with this one. So I thought I'd pick this one. Of the big red bone, and then you're going to color that rest of the bit inside. And you're going to color this in the, uh with a different red. This is how top looks are colored when uh, painting, but what's coloring it because we don't we can't use paint, or it could get on the camera and then you can't see anything. So I'm just using crayon. Okay. Now it's time to put it back. Then get this. No, no, that one's waiting for. Oh my gosh. Look at this red. This is actually pink red. And, like, oh, it's violet red. But this is going to be a pretty one. I want to make mine pretty. You can use your same red for this and this. But I'm going to use a uh, red for the door. Um, but that's the way to color this thing. So I'm going to need to use a violet red. Then I'm going to pause. Now teenage more. And color the door knob. Including that door, you know. It's looking pretty good. Okay. Now time to get back to Violet Red. Just hold on. I'll get it out. Guys, do you know how crayons work? And so, to type that video out the same topic all over the world. And it is awesome. Look, there's actually more players. Because I have 16 players available now. But they're actually coming up. But I'll get them soon. And there you go. Time for one of my favorite colors. No, it blue. It helps color any windows. Hmm. It's gonna look good like this. Oh yeah. It's looking awesome. And oh my gosh, it's so small.
Ah, yep. Okay. Come from the windows. Back here. Okay. My allowance is going, going, going. Oh my gosh, this is so many drawings. But I'm almost done. Just got calling the horse. Does it pretty, 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 very, very pretty. It's like way too pretty. I can't even pronounce it. He, just so pretty. I can't help it. Now look at it. It's even, it's even better now. There you go. But I don't have a golden, so I'll just do that. I do not have a golden. But it's okay. <gasps> Next we need the ground surface. Because everywhere there's a ground surface support for the gravity. So we're going to need to get some glass above. Okay. Let's see. Can draw some little glass. Time for the crow. He's just a crow. But where's the owner? He's right here. That's the owner. Now I need to color those in. Because we are going to get more detail. Then I look even prettier. Time for the arms. Because someone doesn't have arms. Okay, these are big ones. He has one, two, three, four. I think that's one, two, three, four, five. Oops, five. He has each. He's crumbling up. Some dust. There's just so much dust in there. Got some dust on these pavements. And over here, he's going to turn it up. Hee <laughs> hee. Time to finish coloring. Because I want to give more detail. Hee <laughs> hee. Ha ha ha. Okay, so. I'm going to call it in his skin. And on his skin. He's not on to a little. Now let's see. Ooh, we need to. Got some stuff. Look on the old bed. My bed. Your bed. Okay. We're going to see down another one. Then let's call the arm in. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Just such a great drawing. I'm going to need some glue to color in the papa. Now, time to give it some uh, clouds. Yeah, let's do that. I love seeing the clouds. Now let's have to do some sunrise. And some clouds. And there's one block in the sun. Sitting down. 
Now we should call it a moon. We're going to the moon and see what's uh, the body cell. This is the body one. Because look how bright it is. Very golden and bright, but that's not the golden of these. The, these are even golden, so I just see the brown. There. The sunrise. And stick it back in. Okay, so that was very easy. So I think that we can um, give it some more detail because this doesn't look like enough. We need to give it some detail in the crowd. my very best and I finally finished. Goodbye friends. I will see you all next time. We'll take another great video. I hope you enjoyed today's. Goodbye. And remember, I'll see you next time. And remember to always keep drawing. And remember, make today and all your days the best day of all your days. Bye. See you next time. <laughs> Look at the bone we created. Wow, wow, wow. Bye, friends. See you next time.